Hello, I'm Richard ZK from Rammstein at Jones Beach and you're watching Loudwire. Hey everyone, Graham from Loudwire here sitting with Richard Z. Crispa from Rammstein. Thank you so much for your time, man. Appreciate it. Here Thanks. at Jones Beach in wonderful New York. So excited to see you guys tonight and welcome back to America. It's been, it's been a little while. So we're very happy to have you back. Well, it's always been a while. Yes, you know? it's been a little bit, but... But thank you for having me here. Oh, of course, anytime. Uh, so uh, a bit of a scare back in Germany recently at Rock M Ring. Uh, unfortunately, your set had to be canceled because of a potential bomb threat. Uh, mm -hmm. One that happened, mm -hmm. uh, how did they come to you? Did they come to you in sort of a panic at all, or were no. they calm? With German, everything is very well <laughs> organized. Uh, even yes. With the bomb threats even you know? the bomb threats yeah. yeah no it just came to us we weren't really uh, uh, uh not ready to play so we were in preparation and uh, uh, one of the guys from, from from the festival came and said like you know this is the situation and uh, we have to cancel the shows today so yeah so we were, so uh, yeah it wasn't like oh you everybody out no, everybody no, no, out. No, it wasn't like that it was yeah. very calm yeah. okay yeah. when it comes to a potential new Rammstein album. Mm. Uh, there is writing happening. Uh, mm. As a guitarist, how many ideas do you have uh, floating around that you think might contribute to this new album? <laughs> well, first of all, I have to say that I was uh, I was a little scared in the beginning to just jump back into a Rammstein record, you know, because it's it's always a big challenge for us to do those records, you know, and sometimes you know we're afraid to not survive those records. So uh, in the beginning, what we did, it was like two, two years ago, we uh, made a deal and said, like, let's let's only focus on five songs, you know? Okay. Well, you know, and, and I have to say before, like, you know, we, we at the moment, we're in a situation where we're quite privileged to not having any kind of deals with uh, record labels or... Okay. So uh, we're kind of free as a bird, you know, as you can be, and there's no pressure from outside to... We have to do certain things. So we decided, okay... Just try to do five songs. There's no pressure, you know, and uh, let's let's start on that. And then we started two years ago, just to rehearse, like come up with ideas and stuff. And all of a sudden, you know, two years later, and uh, we're at the moment at 20, 28 ideas, I guess. Twenty eight. Yeah, and it's it's kind of a very it's kind of a miracle what happened. You know, I I, I couldn't believe that you know somehow we I felt like we kind of came back to the beginning of Rammstein in a way what we. Where we are, where we, where were we at at this point? You know, we were really um, excited. You know, sometimes like after twenty years being with the same band, you get tired of certain things. You know, sure. we're we, re we were really excited of each other. It was kind of like you know, like like every morning, you know, we're happy to go into the restaurant room, which we haven't been like for a long time. So, so recently in an interview, I heard you describe. Uh, being in a band like Rammstein as a marriage with no sex, right? Uh, and uh, you know, it's a what has changed actually. <laughs> well, uh, and also uh, Rammstein for a long time has been uh, yeah, using hand jobs <laughs> right now. No, we do. That, yeah. Well, it's getting better then, yeah. So, but you've been using uh, therapy sessions between the members right. to get everyone's feelings out there. It's probably a very good idea. Maybe less uh, lineup changes in the rock world would happen if they took that approach that helped me over the years to understand what's the genius of the team you know so and i learned a lot and it's like half of the time what we do is really conversation it's communication communication yeah try to really and this wasn't always like that you know i mean you know obviously you go up and down and there were times where i felt like well i don't want to do it anymore and i want i want i want to be in i want out but there was always like something a bigger picture that i've seen that made it like worthwhile and uh I always figured, you know, if we can overstep our egos, you know, there's something more beautiful than, you know, than like fighting for, for your egos. So back to the quote of the marriage without sex. I always thought <laughs> the the live show was the sex. Would you say that's true? Like, you know, of course, the marriage, there's a lot of difficulties and stuff. But then the live show, when you actually get to go out there and, and bring it to the people. Well, it's it's a recreation of what you already created yeah. in the end of the day, you know, and some people like that. For me, it, the, the, the actually orgasm when you talk about in this kind of visual thing is like when the song comes together. 
this okay. is like the part yeah. which which I enjoy the most. That's so, your favorite part yeah, about it's my favorite part of everything in the music when all the pieces come together and all of a sudden you create like you know a child or you know it comes out and of course you know it's it's good for your ego when you play out there and it's it's fun too but this moment where you create something that all those elements come together is just so wonderful and beautiful and that's what makes me you know to 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 be a musician I've been wondering in the long history of Rammstein of course you've used fire in a lot of your shows has there ever been a time where you went to a venue and then last minute they said hey guys i'm real sorry but uh yeah, you, you can't was, you can't do fire today yeah, there was one really? show yeah in chicago actually long time ago and uh, the funny thing there was one of the shows i really remember because it was probably something very special and we had a very very good time so it, we could actually survive without the fire which uh you know i mean that's what I said, like this whole show thing and the fire, it's became a part of Rammstein and it's kind of a burden. And like also our job is to keep the balance between the show and the music. And sometimes I feel like the, the, the show and all the fire elements like and taking over, you know, so you really have to keep the balance because otherwise you become a circus clown. Do you think people focus too much on the theatrics well, at times? You know, it's basically the first thing that they they see. You know, obviously it's very powerful. You know, yeah. and it's it's a great element. You know, just to you know to bring the energy to the people. For me, uh, one of the best thing to play live is like to exchange energy from the band to the audience. The audience uh, uh, bring the energy back, and fire actually uh, uh, supports that. You know, so so is there any? Uh, estimate on when do you think the new record will be ready to record or, or mm. finish well at the moment what we do we, we we're looking for new producers okay so we realized that we you know want to change the, the whole production team just because of we haven't worked very successful with a certain team over the last 20 years and i think right now it is there uh, it is time for a little change also maybe because maybe it's going to be the last record that we do you know it's uh, it's i think like we're ready for doing different ways of recording or like have a different view uh, of our music, you know, to kind of push in, in a different direction. And it's, it's, it's always a bal like a, a fragile situation where, because you want to, one point you want to change it a little bit, but you don't really want to, you know, uh, uh, um, leave the, 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 the Rammstein uh, sound that you had before. So it's, uh, it's going to be tricky. Okay. Yeah. Do you feel that in your heart this might be the last record? Well, I always believed, you know, when I did a record, it was the last one, you know, but always it was also the first week. record. So, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so but, so you knows? know, like life is full of surprises and, uh, you know, it always taught me a different lesson. So I think like even like, you know, yesterday I had my 50th birthday and oh I was my thinking, God. Happy you know, birthday. Well, thank you. I was, uh, I was, I was saying yesterday, I was like, well, you know, I knew, I know the moment where I said, like, oh, I'm definitely not staying on stage when I'm 50. So, yeah, and here you, know, you are 50 tonight. years, you know, playing the show. And, you know, I mean, that's, you know, there's a saying, you know, if you want to go, uh, uh, make God smile, tell him his plans, you know. It was, it was a really interesting thing, you know, what we did with this movie. Uh, you know, it was like, almost like five years ago when, you know, yeah. Jonas came and said, like, let's, you know, let's do a rock movie. And uh, I think it was the first time that the band kind of gave up control about a project because we were really involved in everything yeah uh, what happened with the band what comes out and i think it was the first time we said like well you know just this guy and he has a vision and he and uh, he did that unbelievable incredible movie called rumsham paris <laughs> was it difficult to wait so many years to finally see that final product well i forgot about it to be honest okay. <laughs> it was so long that i wasn't really remembering it all right <laughs> and then it came back and you're like oh cool I was like, no, I mean, in the beginning, I was like, fuck, man, this is so fast, you know, I can't really, I got headaches, is what I said, yeah, yeah. and, but then I, I, I kind of like, we kind of like agreed on let's, let's, let's do my stuff, he, he was really convincing, and he, he was burning for this project, and I'm, I'm glad, after all, you know, that we let him, let him, let him do what he was doing. Did yeah. the band get together uh, all together and watch the final product? We did, yeah. yeah. We had like a like the, the thing with the with the movie. It was it came out like in the beginning and and different in whole Europe and different cinemas, mm -hmm. you know. And uh, I mean, obviously, it's very difficult to put a rock show into on screen, you know. Sure. But we thought, like you know, in a the movie theater, it's the closest thing you can 
you can you can have than you know watching a live show and there i was watching it and i thought there were moments or i felt like i'm in the middle of a show you know yeah which is so which is interesting i have never seen our show sure yeah <laughs> it's a pretty good show well everybody check out romstein paris if you haven't already it's absolutely spectacular and go see these guys on tour if you get a chance Richard, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you, guys.